Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last series of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mikhail Suslov Lover. And right now, it is November 29th, 1970, in which, well, the Far Eastern Republic, the Soviet Republic, is gone because the Siberian Republic has done really well, but we're doing a grand step forwards. The reborn Soviet Union grows yet stronger, driven onwards by the inexorable currents of history. No amount of uh, F-word violence or particular deviance can prevent the restoration of the true worker state. Western Siberia, with its population, industrial hubs, and rich agricultural land, is restored to the rightful governments of the proletariat. Half of the motherland is now liberated. We shall begin the process of reintegrating, or reintegration, and cleaning up the mess that our enemies have made immediately. And I've also gone in and done all the atomic stuff, just because, why not? There's no point to really just wait for this stuff. Might as well get it done and get through a lot of things first, but then we're going to do the heart of the revolution? Yes, please. The workers of the world are all equal, but those of Russia were the first to embrace the revolution in its truest form and establish a dictatorship of the proletariat. Our comrades around the world have sadly forgotten this fact, owing to our defeat at the hands of the F-word, or F-ideology. But that was merely a temporary setback. The champion of international socialism has risen once again, strong as ever, and buoyed aloft by the spirit of solidarity. Now that we are a global player again, we shall spread the good news to every corner of the earth. Workers rejoice, for the revolution has returned. We've got some comments to go through as well, but all of our enemies. With all of Russia united minus Siberia and Moscow, Suslov can now stand as one of the greatest Russian communists in history. Suslov and Soviet Russia has overcome every challenge, defeating revolutionists, capitalists, those F-dudes, and much more. The Russian army stands unchallenged in the West, modern and large. Production and industry led Russia through a modern kind of warfare, and collectivization freed the peasants and the poor of Russia, and yet Suslov knew there was still a long way to go. The Siberian government stands in the way of a revolution and true communism, oppressing the workers and farmers alike. Meanwhile, the Germans still waiting in Europe, murdering and enslaving those who had opposed them. The Japanese as well occupy much of the Far East, including Vladivostok, stealing from Russians and occupying Russian industry and resources. All oppose Suslov's Russia, and have, all have to be defeated. Only then would the Union be preserved and socialism succeed. A long way we've come and a long way forwards. Uh, extending the apparatus. Siberia has been deprived of proper socialist governance for too long. The reaction is juntas. Criminals and revisionists have left us with a sorry assessment of ineffective bureaucracies and backwards of local administrations. This will not do. The people demand that their Siberian brothers and sisters are granted the full benefits of a renewed social society. Comrade Suslov shall see that it is done soon. Cities and villages alike will be filled with smiling workers and peasants, cheering on the events of the revolution as it reclaims all of Russia. Now, we could re uh, do military intervention into Kazakhstan, we're going to wait. Um, one thing about this, so right now we did do this uh, Socialist International, which basically does nothing for us really for this currently in TNO, but oh well, whatever. And also we did get the whole ComCon or Communist, uh, what is ComCon, whatever it is, uh, Scientific Bureau, so then everyone can share technology with each other, which is I think a very good idea. We've had the oil crisis sputter on and affect everyone in the world, which is fine with us. And extend their apparatus, get some more research, because that would be great, 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 great. Get some more radar, and it is, of course, 1970, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. Well, let's supervise the Union. Siberia is now as refined and orderly as it should be. Crime, banditry, and rebellion continue to blight the land, such as the natural outcome of societal breakdown and the absence of a strong, ideologically consistent government. The workers demand order and security, and the General Secretary Suslov will make it so. Police presence in the region will be increased tenfold, of course. This will in turn require further expansion of a robust security apparatus, a small, harmless reform that the party is more than happy to endorse. All Siberians shall rest easy under our constant vigilance, which will be a great, great thing. As we're continuing to build up roads and stuff like that, even though I think, oh no, we still have some roads to build here. That's totally fine with us. Build some more industry. We love, 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 love that industry, man. Um, radar is looking pretty good as well, so awesome, awesome, awesome from us. Anti-corruption initiatives seem like pretty good because we get improved poverty. But we do have a cup, half cup of coffee here, so that's pretty lukewarm, but that's all right. Happy 1971, everyone. Cold days. If you worry about that, please go ahead. Worrying, worrying to say the least, huh? What? Strikes it. Wait, strikes Siberia. Or, wait, what? How is our current preparedness 100%? I mean, we're ready to go. Like, don't get me wrong, but still. Alright, whatever. Um, Military intervention. Prepare for unification. Oh, yeah, we can prepare for unification wars, I guess. Might as well, I guess. And corruption initiatives. If you want to hear about a grand showdown, please go ahead. Sadly, despite our efforts to eventually become a post-money society, the allure of wealth remains a potent, potent incentive towards criminal behavior. Corruption, that most capitalist of diseases, threatens to become common practice in our bureaucracy. The state of affairs is unacceptable, but, con but conventional methods have proven ineffective against its spread. Perhaps it's time to fight fire with fire. The promise of financial reward to those uh, willing to inform on corrupt colleagues might do more to curb the problem than any amount of investigations or tribunals. We're going to lose some political power, but that's all right. We get a new source, small new source of income. Poverty will get better. We get some more stability. Put some comments. Someone says, we can't wait for Goring to get cooed. Oh, secure the union. Well, we'll see. Actually, I think at this point, Goring has already been cooed, so yeah. 
Not bad. It was an I Knights Pact. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. Not bad. None of the Balkan states, which is pretty good, though. Secure the Union. With us in control of Siberia, we now have to deal with the mess the previous government left behind. Secret societies, spies, and partisans all continue to terrorize West Siberia and are garrisons there, making it very hard to govern. Sending more of our own security services will be necessary for stabilizing the region and destroying what remains of the previous government. Our own spies will also track down what remains of the West Siberian intelligence branch, eliminating any threat they pose. We'll make sure all important people are supervised in our newly controlled territories to make sure they do nothing unfavorable. More garrisons and infantry will be mobilized the West Siberia as well to track down any secret societies and neutralize their members. Snuffing their partisans out of their hideouts will also be the job of the army, and our generals are sure they won't remain a threat for long. The East will be secured, and with it will finally come the form of cohesion. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go ahead and train if you need it to. Repress potential uh, deviants. Ooh. Except the young planners. Which I do like. You lose political power here. And industrial expertise does go up. I think I'm going to repress potential deviants first, though. Just because that seems like a lot more fun. We love repression sometimes. The rise of another Bukharina or Zadanov is a possibility we cannot abide. Despite their dedication to socialism, these two split are fr frequently endangered the cause with selfish factionalism, setting a dangerous precedent for the future generations. The party cannot allow ideological deviance to become normalized. We must be on the lookout for any potential splitters rising through the ranks that we might snuff out their ambitions and maintain socialism as Marx and Lenin intended it. Nice. And what do we have here? Oh, yeah. Get some more reserves because we need them immediately. Expunge secret, uh, secret societies. A twin headed monster lurks, wounded but still alive in the forests of Siberia. Upon its left shoulder rests the superintendent headed revisionism, hissing falsehoods with a forked tongue and leading workers astray. To its right sits a snarling visage of fascism, muzzle red with the people's blood. The beast is the double threat of the Stalinists and the Black League, equally guilty of crimes against socialism, the motherland, and her people. The remnants of these traitors must be expunged from Siberia to make way for sensible, humane socialism, that the wounds of the nation might be bound and healed. <sighs> Absolutely. Abso positively lootly. Yeah, we could really use some radar here. Holy crap. And actually, quality radar, not like this level 1 stuff. Level 1 stuff is garbage. Straight to garbage, my friends. Straight garbage. Italian. Dominant in Iraq. For the better. I don't remember ever seeing this one again or before. Wow, okay. Iraq is sort of whole again. Vito Michelli. That's actually kind of cool. Specter of Baatism. No focus tree, but whatever. A hand to the Khrushchevites. Khrushchevites. Even the splitters have splitters. The so-called Stalinists find themselves divided between those loyal to the chauvinist, reactionary Frankensteinian ideas of Kaganovich, and the more orthodox and progressive clique of Khrushchev. The latter still differ from our established party line to a worrying degree, but perhaps we can return them to the correct path, len lenient perhaps. But Khrushchev is a charismatic and popular man who commands great respect within the party, especially from those with more forward-thinking tendencies. Come on, big boys, please attack us. Also, we do have two tank divisions here, which is not bad. Obviously, we don't want more, but that's what we're going to work on um, between this and when we go fight the Germans. So, shouldn't be too bad. We have quite a few divisions, but that's all right. Shouldn't have any problem with them, right? The leftovers. Despite our efforts, remnants of the Black League and Stalinists remain. If we wish to legitimize the rule in Siberia, these groups must be purged. They are both weak and can be easily eliminated by our intelligence services and military. Some would say that we could integrate what remains of the Stalinists, yet Suslov knows the danger that could pose to our government. They would never be satisfied with the power given to them, so they must be destroyed alongside the Black League. If it, it is the only way for the revolution to not be ended by revisionists or no radicals, purge every memory of them and reform party membership. Ooh, look at that political power gain. Oh, yes. Membership of the Communist Party should mean something more than what it currently does. As is, it seems that the true believers are outnumbered by career bureaucrats seeking advancement. We are the vanguard of the socialist revolution, not a means by which ambitious men can put themselves above their comrades. Party membership should be complemented with a set of obligations and standards to strengthen our legitimacy as a representative of the proletariat. Those who fail to meet expectations will be expelled so that someone more deserving and reliable can take, of course, their place. Absolutely. Yes, please. Ah, oh, look at that manpower. It makes me feel pretty darn good, especially as we get some tanks with SP artillery. 40 combo with? Oh, we love it. 40 combo with, like... And then, uh, these guys, too. Nice. Interviews. Alexander Panushkin was used to working early mornings. One had to be where... One had to be when working for Mikhail Soslov. However, many of the men who were being considered to help run the West Siberian Oblast clearly were not early risers. Only 14 of the 18 candidates were there by the beginning of the morning. Thankfully, he was patient. The questions were simple, almost deceptively. So what are your qualifications, Alexander? Asked one man with hair loss, who quickly pulled out forms. My loyalty to the revolution as shown by my impressive service. He began as Alexander took the papers quickly. Thank you. We will call you back as soon as possible. Next, he inter interrupted. As a man sheepishly filed out, replaced by a thin, tall, and smiling officer. He said a little besides 
besides answering the questions, not talkative, potential asks that if loyalty is determined to be sufficient. The support says you have been often been found in the company of drunkards and women, is that true? He asks another, as a third man paused, well, if I'm going to represent the people, should I not know who am I representing? They replied, as Alexander narrowed his eyes slightly, we will get back to you, comrade. Hopefully there's at least one diamond in the rough and increase so sock and turn funding. Russia, as a fount of natural resources and giving a significant economic clout on the global stage, we can easily rake in billions from trade. And Comrade Suslov has exactly the right idea for when these righteous profits should be directed. The Socialist International, failure to cooperate with the international proletariat has been the death of many a promising revolution, and we shall not repeat that mistake. The workers of the world will be united, and Soviet rubles will make it happen. We love political power here. I mean, we do get more stability, which is nice, too. Budgie boost, that's fine. Cool. And let's do this, too. Alright, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing well myself. And someone says, when in doubt, blame the Zionists. You speak in my language already. When in doubt, when things aren't going quite right for us, just blame the Zionists. Actually, what are we looking at right now? That's not bad. I don't want to cut down anything yet. Um... We don't really need more political power, honestly, right now. What if I cut it? There you go. We're, not gonna, we're gonna keep this where it is right now. We're demobilizing, we are, which does kind of suck, but... Hmm. We'll see. I don't mind if we can cut down some of the debt right now. Oh, there goes the Shah of Iran. Goodbye. Emphasize anti-imperialism versus a strategic orientation. Oh, we must face facts. The Soviet Union is not in a position to pick a fight with the West. They may be oppressive imperialists, but it was the Germans and their allies who invaded the motherland and drove the, us from our homes. One does not look at the, to the distant wolf when the bear is breaking down the door, although the Americans can never be trusted so long as their corrupt kleptocratic institutions remain. Aligning ourselves with a greater cause of defeating fascism is a responsible course of action. But if you want to read about emphasized anti-imperialism, please go ahead. Yeah. Condemns Japanese, American, and German imperialism. Ah. Cool. And strikes a beer at the last war. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. We will not strike. Let them strike us. We will be fine. And the International Vanguard. Long have we waited for this day. There have been those who said it would never come, that the revolution was finished. What do they have to say now? And the people and the workers of the Soviet Union are reclaiming what is rightfully theirs. Fascists, revisionists, and reactionaries fall before us like wheat before the scythe. Nothing can defeat the courage and the resolve of a united proletariat. Mighty and invincible. Today, Siberia. Tomorrow, the hills of Manchuria. Come on, please attack us, please attack us. You know what? Screw it. Oh, we already got... Okay, so they did... So we got the last war. So that thing only happens when the other person does this one, which is fine with us. Oh, look at that. Nice. A strategic orientation. The international vanguard. Just want to have a bigger industry, man. That's all I want. Look at all the roads we made. Oh, that's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. And let's take a Kazakhstan, and, but we won't reunite re Russia because I will have to fade and fade out and then reinstall or just put on the mod of uh, the Second West Russian War so we can go to war with actually Germany. That'd be great. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to need more output anyways. We need a lot more anti air. Holy crap. I've got some of that stuff, which is nice. We're going to need some more military factories, which will be fine. Hey, if you want to build better agricultural methods, please go ahead for this bread we think thee. Oh, hello. Well, I mean, we were technically, I think, already on this one already. We were already on modern agriculture, so. Basically, we got nothing. Oh, they go to war with us. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? Oh, no. We just go in. Yeah? My bad. The International Vanguard. If you guys would like to help support the attack, I would greatly appreciate it. There you go. The Soviet Union was the first state to embrace the workers' revolution, and it is only the right that we lead the revolutionary states of the world forward. Following a reclamation of Western Russia, we are once again the strongest socialist nation in the world, and it is our duty to serve the, as the vanguard of the global revolution. Across the world, the proletariat yearns for the freedom, while the fascists and the bourgeois capitalists profit from their labor. We will not allow their oppression to continue any longer. Whether they be legal political parties or underground partisan movements, the USSR shows support socialist and communist movements around the globe. From Havana to London to the heart of Africa, the brave revolutionaries of every nation and society will call the Soviet Union their greatest ally and friend, knowing they can count on us to stand with them in the name of international class solidarity. The established powers of the world will not approve of our proclamation, but 
The establishment has never approved of the new revolutionary order. They call us dishonorable and say that we are supporting terrorists and radicals. We know the truth that a freedom fighter is a terrorist to his oppressor, and common sense seems radical to anyone whose prosperity allows an antiquated social order. The fascists failed to crush the revolution in 41. The struggle of the working class never ended, and now that the Soviet Union has returned, the great helmsman of the proletarian revolution shall guide the peoples of the world to their freedom. As Marx wrote over a hundred years ago, the revolution is inevitable, and its time is coming soon. Workers of the world unite! Nice. Now we could cut this, but I don't want to cut this now. You know, increase it. So we still don't get a billion, but hey, it's still not bad. We get more attack and defense here too, which would be important. We get to improve more stuff. Actually, since we're here, start doing a lot of this stuff too. Send you over to this area too to help up, uproot a little bit more entrenchment. So we've lost about 21,000, which is not bad. We've killed off 130, 40, almost 200, 000, over 200,000 uh, casualties have been inflicted upon the CSR. They have a lot of population still. But can they keep it up? Honestly, probably not. Of course, we do have green air, which is very, very, very beneficial, which is awesome, 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 awesome. And are we over 300,000? Not quite yet. We're getting there, though. And by doing this, we get a lot of uh, experience, too, which is nice to have. So it's good to have a lot of experience. All right, you guys doing what? Nothing important down there. No, by important, I mean, like, there's no upgrade, which sucks. A third of a million have died and perished. Awesome. I don't think they can really replace everything that they have. We're still developing our stuff here, too. And we get all this political power because we're going to need it for pouring stuff. So, so what the heck is this? Sara Front? What the heck is this? Oh, I've never seen that before. Cool. So 50,000 versus almost half a million, which is not bad, but still. There you go. That's a little better. 60,000 versus a m half a million. Nice. Feels looking okay. Not bad, but okay. Good. Or good. How much? Oh. Hello. Oh. Ah. You are the normal tank divisions. Awesome. 64,000 versus 600,000. That's so good. So good. I guess could help out here, you know. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, how close are they to capitulation? About halfway, almost halfway. Three quarters of a million have now perished, which is not enough. But it does make us feel pretty good about it. All right, advanced development phase. Yes, please. And I'm going to spend all of the political power here. There you go. That's fine. Whatever. It matters little to us right now. Crush them. Ah, I've ran some more 900,000 casualties. <sighs> never enough. Just never enough. Right, Valentine? That's right. Uh, we could go with this. Let's go with Ambusher, maybe. I'm going to go with Ambusher this time. Italy now has no good weapons, which is nice. Um, we still have a deficit, which sucks, but whatever. I don't really care. Radar, very good, very good. Because we're going to need even better radar later on in the future. And you guys, it's 1970, so grab better tanks. We're just going to need better tanks overall. They have less than th almost 30 divisions, probably. Almost a million have died, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Three, two, one. Boom! Get that down. Doesn't, that doesn't help us out, but still. Alright, so now they're less than 30 divisions. Over a million have died. Really brutal wars, man. They're out of manpower. They're done. And how close are we to capitulating them? Two-thirds of the way there? That's not bad. That's pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Pretty darn good. Oh, do you have any upgrades, sir? Yes? No? Okay, then. Move a little faster. Anyone else with the upgrades? Yes, Sergei. Okay. Not you yet, which sucks, but whatever. We have a lot of things that we're going to need to core later on. We'll get more manpower. I promise you that. Oh, Iran is killing Iran. Good job, Iran. Nice job. Pat on the back, Iran. 
Oh, good job, Iran. Thanks for killing each other. Good job for killing yourself. <laughs> ah, gotta love it. Keep moving up and around town. There you go. Very, very nice. Get another agent if we possibly can. And, uh, Yelena Gurko. All the way over here next. Oh, look at this inner circlement. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, good job, Mr. Mokalover. That's a smart thing to do. Encircle them. Let's wait for the Kutsk. All the good stuff. Oh, the tanks are doing it anyways. Good job, guys. They should be close. 92% of the way there. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, get some more APCs. Because we got some time to build some stuff up, so. Nurun. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, they should give up soon, right? Right? Oh, you'd hope so. 95% of the way there? Yep, 95. 1.2 million have died. Not bad, not bad. Auto saving. Very, very good. How many men have we lost? 100,000, maybe? Yeah, about 100,000 ish. For this casualty ratio, I think that's pretty darn decent. Cheetah. Borzia. And now they have all died. Look at that. Oh, so good. So good. Let's go ahead and do this too. Um, military intervention. Go and retrain if you need it, because I'm sure these guys are. So, go and retrain. Go ahead and integrate all these places too. That's fine. Military budget boost. That's fine as well. We can cut it down actually probably a little bit. Now we're not going to get any political power, but we're going to core a lot more things, which is going to be super important. Cut it down. Ah, billing's good. So now we can do this too. A lot of room to grow. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out um, Kazakhstan together. And then I think we're going to reunify the motherland maybe. And then we'll go to war with the Germans. I'll probably take out the central Russian states. Central Asian states really. Oh, we need more, a lot more tanks. Makes sense, whatever. Um, do we need more guns? No, we're, we're fine on guns. I'll take out the Central Asian states, and then we'll probably together take out Germany. To the best of our abilities. You know, no guarantees, but the best of our abilities. Um, all you guys, there you go. Uh, you guys, are you Cass? Nice, there you go. Here. Got more Cass on those guys. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. We could reunify the motherland. Let's get Kazakhstan done first. Overall, not too bad. How are we looking here? We could cut this down, but we're not going to. We have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to build up. Are we getting any political power? No, we're literally getting none because we're integrating three, four, five, six, seven. Seventeen different places at once. Which will help us get more manpower, don't get me wrong, which is great. And actually, yeah. We should be able to cut this down quite a bit. Oh, Kazakhstan's done. Nice. Yeah, let's take even less losses by doing this. Pavlodar will be ours. Um, there you go, too. Uh, definitely do it against the Reich. Even you guys and you guys. We'll see what happens. Because... We'll see if Iran probably will be going to war with us, too. Which will kind of suck, but... It's alright. Happens. Definitely happens. Military factories. SP artillery. Yeah, we're going to need some more of that. We can lower this by 10 now. Nice. Right, go over there. And grab some more rubber. That would be quite bueno. We should have plenty of fuel. Should. Should is the correct term here. And about a month left. So, budget-wise, minus 800 billion is not bad. Especially if you start coring more stuff. Can you use more factories? Oh, yes, please. Nice. Keep building, keep building, building. You're not done yet. You'll never be done building. It's kind of nice, but still. <sighs> I can't imagine having $77 billion in debt. Minimum annual debt interest payment. Wow. That sucks. Income rate is 45.5%. Other income, 50 million is like nothing. Alright, should be able to go to war very soon. Political interference, huh? It's barely going up. Expertise is pretty bad. Equipment's pretty... Actually, back to complexes. Yeah, we'll get, be able to go to modern industrial equipment. Uh, that'll be nice. That'll actually be pretty darn nice. Cool. And got some more of that, too. Because we're, we're definitely going to be using that stuff. Okay, so go and stop doing that. Get some more... Uh, Organization, get ready to go. We could keep boosting up our liquid reserves, but you only invest half of what you get into that, so there's no point doing that. Ah, do we course some stuff? It looks like we did, probably. 
Need way more main battle tanks. Heavy SP artillery, yeah, just need more tanks, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Yay! It shouldn't be that bad. It should be a pretty quick war. In all honesty, it should be very quick. Alright, so we lost about a thousand. That's two thousand versus about forty thousand ish, roughly forty thousand ish. They have a hundred thousand manpower left, but twenty one divisions max. Mostly infantry. Six one thousand now died. We have no manpower again. What else is new? Ah, keep spending for now. Eighty thousand people have died. Eighty-five, eighty-six. Nice, nice, nice. Hundred thousand have died. Just casual hundred thousand Central Asians have died. That's all. Go, tanky boys, go. Good, good, good. I doubt there'll be any upgrades from here for this war, so. It's not that intense. Passive defense, grab some more key cryptography. Alma Alta. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, so good. A casual 160,000 have died, that's all. Just casual. Oh, there you go. Do that too, because you can. Should have done that earlier, but whatever. So there we go. They're gone. End of the territories. Let's pause the music real quick. And the reunification of Russia. You reunify the motherland. The restoration of the USSR. Out of the shadows of the Russian anarchy emerges a new order. The nation has been reunited under a restored communist state and the head of the state. A renewed institution as a mysterious and enigmatic handsome Mikhail Seslav. Beyond reconstructing his country and consolidating his territory, few can honestly tell what Seslav's plans have in store. The Soviet chess master, as keeping his cards close to the chest for the time being by the enemies of Russia, would do well to be wary. Few have crossed Seslav have, who have lived to tell the tale, but those who have agree that once his schemes are in motion, neither heaven nor earth can stop him. Whether through guns on open fields or through knives in the dark, Russia stands as a power to be reckoned with once more. If not Braun, then Cunning will save Russia. The Red Fist. Now, technically, that should end this campaign, but it doesn't quite necessarily end the campaign just because we still have a few Germans to get rid of and make sure that they understand and feel the wrath of a certain Mikhail Suslov. So, what we're going to do, like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and do a lot of the Central Asian stuff, hopefully get Vladivostok back, and get ready for the war against all of the Einheit's Pact. Well, everyone, here we are with no manpower on April 14th, 1973, in which, I think at this point, we might as well invade the Reich, so... Let's see how well we do. We do have a couple of things here. We don't have this one done. Moscow Autonomy, though, and Ukraine. We'll save the Ukraine for a little bit, but let's do that. As hopefully we'll be marching in and doing an okay-ish job, even though we, like, seriously have no manpower, which does suck. Now, we won't invade Iran. I didn't forget about this one, but Russia declared the war in Germany. No turning back now. Nice. Start a nuclear war. I think we're okay. If I have to start leading the divisions, that's fine. Uh, we're not going to war with Imperial City of Iran yet, which is kind of weird, but it's all right. We've lost 51 guys versus 80,000. Um, I mean, obviously, as you can see, we're overrunning some enemy divisions. Oh, I should keep doing that one. Cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, we did cut down civilian spending too. So, uh, overall, not too bad. We're getting to the Coxes now, which is going to be a little bit more difficult to take out, but whatever. Going to something like that. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Civilian austerity. Just go and cut that down. That's fine. Doesn't really like we need that much very much right now at all. Um, yeah. Overall, not too bad. Not too bad so far. Uh, there goes Iran, which is good to see. We gotta capitulate those. Oh my gosh! Please do not die here. Get out of there. You a bunch of dinguses. Go, 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 go. We're doing okay-ish here, and that's what that's what really matters. They're doing okay-ish. 
Um, you have any upgrades? I'll tune in. No, we're doing relatively okay. We've lost 11,000 versus 129,000, 13,000 German, German divisions, actual German, German divisions. Brasichstadt will be ours. Yeah, we're just going a little slow. I feel like we're very sluggish here. We don't have near as many tanks as I normally would like. Oh my gosh. What are you... Okay, just go straight to Baku then. Screw it. If we can take away their fuel reserves, that'd be great, great, great. As we're still trying to make sure that our tanks and SP artillery are, will do okay here. So, yeah. Oh, and we got some of course. Of course we did. Go out this way first. Overall, not too bad. Um, 143,000. We still have these guys, hopefully. Uh, Ukraine. That's still Ukraine. You guys come up to... Actually, go to Ukraine. It's fine. Get out department first. That's fine. Anti-air the liberation of Moscow. Moscow's behind us. Great. Great. Hopefully we can core that stuff very soon. Come on, capitulate Muscovine. Please. Uh, no. We're going to keep on going for now. See what else we can do. Rushu, Rushal, huh? Should be able to win there. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Force defense for now. Head straight on in. Uh, no, 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 no. We're going straight for Germania, my friends. There we go. There we go. That's much better. Oh boy, we need some more serious manpower. Um, not bad, not bad. Please get to Baku. Please just capitulate these guys. Come on, Muscovine, you gotta die. Oh! And? I think it's Caucasus that was gonna die first. Never mind, it's Moscow Autonomy. Great! Ah, time to core, finally. We'll get some good manpower in about a month. Thank goodness. Thank the Lord. And of course, pass. The ammunition. How are we doing in Tehran? Probably pretty bugger-like, huh? It's going okay. It's not going great, but it's not bad. It could be a lot worse than what it's currently going on. How much manpower do they have down here? None! Oh, I love it! Oh, jolly good! In about a month, we'll get a lot more manpower, too, so that's that'll be some good stuff. That'll be some great stuff. Uh. Okay, so I might want you guys, actually, on this front. Just to hurry up and capture these guys. Take Baku. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, we got Baku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that enough to capitulate them? God, I hope it would be. Just go straight into them. Tiflis will be good to get, too. Uh, you guys, infantry still keeps going on. Usually, I want to throw more armor onto our divisions before we keep going on here. But, it should be okay. Ah, good. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. Exactly. Nice. Very good. Could ask no doubt it would suck. Um... Get in there, get into each area that you need to get into. Because right now we're going to come up here and mop these areas up first and then finish off Iran. Because Iran is fairly relatively open right now. Good. And a lot of these guys are not just actual tank divisions, they have SP artillery on them too, so. Imagery wise, they're doing okay. Oh. So, nuclear war. Advanced development stage? Why not? There we go. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Cool. Pretty darn good. Once you take out one area, then the next area will fall, and the next area will fall, and the next area will fall, and it'll be awesome. Go in as much as you possibly can. Nice. You guys looking pretty good yourself. here. Surprisingly, no. We suffered 54,000 casualties. No, no. We've only not even killed a million of them yet, which is kind of sad, but, you know, we'll get there. Overrunning their tank divisions and such, which is pretty good, actually. And we'll meet up with these guys here, too, soon. Uh, we'll do that. Ah, Iran is gone. Nice. Very nice. We'll let the infantry deal with that. Other tanks now. Go straight over there. It's fine. They're gone. They're gone. Okay, cool. 
Uh, come over here. Come to Austin. Or what was Austin at one point, I guess. Do that too. Keep going on in. And you guys have done great. Really, 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 really great. Oh, we're not going to Baku anymore, but that's alright. Arak. You guys go there, you guys go there, that's fine. You guys go there, and you guys do that too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cut down more on that debt. Russian capital. Uh, if you want to buy that, please go ahead. Third Rome. Ah, one to the west. Let's do Leningrad. Let's try something different this time. But, ooh, complete German surrender would be kind of fun, but... Look there. There you go. There you go. That's what you're going to do. Alright, so now we're finding them Jerry boys. So we got a lot of divisions. Lots and lots of divisions. Still going to be kind of a struggle against them. That's alright. Because we do like to struggle on occasion. Not all the time, but on occasion. Look at that manpower. Finally got some manpower. Finally. Anti-guerrilla activities. Let's go and do some army department stuff there. Still doing pretty darn well. Under Shona, they are not doing great. Oh, sure. They still have 2 million manpower, so they got plenty of manpower left. Oh, uh, equipment wise, they're out of infantry equipment. That's good. That is that is just that just warms our heart, does it not? Oh, uh, Königsberg, please, please get some Königsberg. Yvonne, nothing there. Okay. Keep spreading out like cancer. There we go. Nice. A little more armor would never hurt anybody, and we're out of manpower again. But the death's looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. Nice. We find people will just beat the crap out of them. Ah, cutting the is ours. Poland will fall too. And that is what exactly what we love. How are you doing up here? Doing all right. Nice. All right. So 1.3 million. Still not enough. I want more. Thon or Ton. You guys probably could help out right there. Never enough political power, but what else? The man to complete German surrender. So Slavla says no. And actually, we're right here. Single weapon. We do have a single weapon, which is nice. Cut down more of the debt. Even at war, the Mikhail Soslav continues to cut down the debt. Truly a man of brilliance. Beats up the Germans and cuts down the debt of the Soviet Union. What a fella. What a fella. Good. Germania, please, let's get Germania. Ah, oh, that's best not to tempt fate. How many men have we killed off? Only 1.7 million? Darn it. Oh, we didn't get Ukraine? What? That's stupid. We should have gotten them. The world is saved. Well, maybe we should have just demanded a complete German surrender last next time, but whatever. You guys head on over here, you guys do this. Let's get Viborg back and call it a campaign, shall we? This is a relatively short uh, campaign that we had here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, let's still go to war with those guys. Let's come over here first. And let's just do this anyways. Yeah, go and do that. That's fine. They don't care. They really don't. <laughs> no more budget boost is fine with us. Uh, oh my goodness, there's going to be so much here to rebuild. So much. It's all right, though. I'm going to war them one more time, maybe. And... Oh, we really take it. Awesome. As we should have. Or as we should, really. Good. All right, men. Cut down some more of the debt. And get ready for round two. Because this was BS, and we don't like BS like that. There you go. There you go. Pretty dumb that they just gave our territory back away to them, but we'll do the actual demand surrender this time. Because this time, they have 1-2 million manpower, they still have a lot of divisions. Excuse sorry, that's Ukraine should have nothing. But they're going to be a lot more dead this time, which is great. I'm going to drive straight through the Ukraine. 10. 
Nine. Look at that manpower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Look at all this stuff. Three. Two. One. Oh, let's do it again. Let's go straight on in. Should be no stop this time. They have up to 189 divisions in total. Which is fine with us. Nice. Covert operations. Naval department. Engineers would even be better this time. Even better engineers followed up with that. And then better some anti-tank here. Why not? Alright. Losses again. Now we're at 144,000 Germans. Never enough German boys dead, of course. But whatever. And the Ukraine has once again fallen. Who could have seen that one coming, my friends? Who could have seen that one coming at all? I, for one, did not. Ah, <coughs> oh, beautiful. And more than enough manpower. And straight back to Germania. Straight back. To Baku we go. Well, get off 400,000 more Germans. Over here, we got some more debt to get rid of. Um, still building ourselves up. Pretty good, I'd say. And complete German surrender. Yeah, just give it a little more time, we'll have it. Ah, hello. Must have nearly invaded us. It's alright. It's alright, we'll get him. 400,000, they should have less, like less than 100 divisions now. To Riga. And they're taking half a million. Nice. It looks like they got a lot of divisions, and they do. It's really bad. Naval department, nice. Industrial espionage, thank you. Minus ten and a half billion is not bad either. For funsies, let's just force the attack. How many do they have? 600,000? That's not, still not enough. I'd hate to be on the German side of this. It's a massive onslaught, just killing every single last person here. Oh, good. Oh, oh my goodness, a million have died again. As it should happen. Alright, let's do the complete German surrender this time. A treaty of Tell Germany, Germany we accept. Beautiful. Let's get Ukraine and Caucasus at least, right? We gotta at least get that, right? Right. Cool, there we go. That's a lot better. And now we can integrate all these guys. They love our that rule. We got the Caucasus. We got Austin. Germany surrenders, my friends. They surrender. Years of humiliation finally over. Russia reborn, my friends, but I think that's going to conclude this episode, which is quite a bit shorter than my mo most of my TNO episodes, but regardless, if you enjoyed the campaign under Mr. Mikhail Sosla, please do leave a like, it does help me out, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous what day, rest of your day, why are you guys still in the Africa Shield, what the heck is that about? Anyways, thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day.